We introduce cross-modal perceptionist, can face geometry be gleaned from voices? This work studies whether 3D face geometry can be gleaned from speech. Have you ever experienced that when an unknown speaker starts to talk, though you don't know or haven't seen the speaker, you might be able to approximately imagine what a person looks like? Or, after you see the speaker's appearance, you will start to think one's voice, actually matches or does not match perfectly. This work targets studying whether such a correlation exists, between facial geometry and voices. Is it possible to recover 3D facial structures from voices? Previous research has explored 2D representation, and studied whether they can reconstruct or synthesize face images from voice. However, image representation inherently suffers from potential irrelevant factors, such as hair, beards, background, or even ethnicity as a controversial factor. Prior methods show that latent speech features do not cluster together by race or ethnicity. Further, from cognitive science support, low-level auditory and visual analysis affect each other, which means speech can affect the visual analysis of the speaker's identity. Besides, cords are densely connected to the head, so that when cords vibrate, the vibration would pass through the facial structures. Thus, 3D representation can be a better choice to leave out potential irrelevant factors, and be more physiologically grounded. We first built a directly supervised learning model. Alpha here are 3D MM parameters that control the 3D shape variation. The difficulty is how to obtain the paired data. For an in-the-wild face image, we first use an off-the-shelf 3D facial landmark detector. Then we use 3D MM optimization to reconstruct the face mesh. Finally, we build a dataset, Voxelab 3D, that contains voice and 3D mesh pairs to facilitate the study. Next, we adopt an unsupervised model, using a latent image representation. It can be divided into two parts. The first is to synthesize potential face images using gun losses. Next, a distillation approach is taken to learn from a well pre trained monocular 3D face reconstruction model. Combining image synthesis and 2D to 3D modules, we can obtain a voice to 3D face regressor. We first show from the supervised learning, networks can output face meshes with different types. We show their affinity matrix and parameter space to help understand the differences. Then, they are the results of the unsupervised learning. We next use neighboring voice features, as inputs, and show the prediction coherence from voice. This is supervised learning results. This is unsupervised learning results. We compare with a baseline, that directly uses pre-trained image synthesis model, and pre-trained monocular 3D face reconstruction model, to construct mesh from voice. This is unsupervised learning results. We show the improvements are prominent, joining voice information can help predict face shapes. We also conduct a subjective test that shows well above results over baseline. In conclusion, this study finds that it is possible to recover 3D facial structures from voices, and such a correlation exists. However, implicit or subtle factors may affect one's voice. To learn more, please scan the QR codes. Thank you.